Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, warm greetings in the Lord as we mark the midway point of our 2024 appeal. We pause today to reflect on the profound impact your generosity toward the appeal makes. With each passing week as our staff receive incoming donations from people across the diocese, we as a team are reminded of how the appeal is an opportunity for us to come together each and every year and to dive into how practical support allows our Archdiocese to be united, growing and flourishing with the changing of seasons. I trust that at this time you have been able to hear and see the testimonies of couples and ministry groups from within our Archdiocese. These stories highlight both how people have benefited from your ongoing support of the appeal and also how your financial gifts to the appeal allow us to build a sense of unity, seeking to support diverse groups within our diocese. Together we have learned from the wisdom and experience of Father Ken Kapp and Archbishop Jim Weisgerber. It's moving to hear Father Ken in his 90s, looking back at his life and giving thanks for the gift of living a life which had at its heart the proclamation of good news. Both Bishop Jim and Father Ken have witnessed the evolution of our Archdiocese over many decades. Their experiences offer invaluable insights into how we are called to live out as church. This year's theme, Many People, One Heart. They highlight how the appeals initiatives have enabled the church to grow, adapt, and continue to serve as a beacon of unity and faith for all. Next, we turn to Irene and Joe Poirier from Bellegarde, whose long-term dedication to the appeal is a testament to the appeal's mission of building unity now and for future generations. They spoke about how the parish was the hub of their community, a unifying force, just as the Archdiocese and this work, including the appeal, holds us together and reaches out to areas of need. Their example of faith and generosity inspires us all to continue nurturing a vibrant, connected and loving church community. From Greg and Celo Ravasco, we heard how their experience of the lay formation program funded through the appeal has been transformative in their lives. Their journey through this program has deepened their participation in the Mass, enriching their spiritual lives, and equipping them with confidence and practical skills to lead within their community. Their commitment exemplifies how the appeal's support fosters not only personal growth, but also effective leadership in our parish communities. Lastly, through the testimony of the Miriam family, who embody a charism of unity, we heard something of their efforts to build up a church which is the family of all God's children, without exception, where everyone belongs and everyone is loved. Their motto, from Jesus' prayer to the Father for his disciples, is at the heart of this year's appeal. May they be one, Father, as you and I are one. Many people, one heart. For the ministry of the Miriam family and of all those who build up the unity of the church, we are deeply thankful to God. Together, these stories remind us of the power of unity and the difference your lives and contributions can make. As we move forward, let us renew our commitment to building up our church, embracing our shared mission, and supporting one another in faith and love. If you have already contributed to the annual appeal, I want to extend my profound gratitude for your support. This is truly something that we can't do on our own. It's only through the support of many that we can continue to offer support to our countless ministries and groups throughout the diocese who depend on it. If you have not yet made a gift, I ask that you might thoughtfully and prayerfully consider how a gift is a tangible expression of a desire for unity, growth, and harmony in our communities. Each and every gift we receive is a testimony to the strength of our Archdiocese and the desire of our people across the province to live as many people with one heart. Thank you for your continued support and dedication to the annual appeal. May we all be united in our journey of faith, growing ever closer to Christ and to one another. God bless.